Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Welcome back. I'm glad you made it to the other video. So, now, we're not done with the look, right? Now, I'm taking off the foundation that I had on my lips. That I was looking kind of ghostly. Kind of corpish. Um, so now what we're going to do is we are going to, I'm putting on my lip conditioner. Love it. It's like, it's so creamy and conditions your lips. But on top of that, I'm going to throw on, where is it? <laughs> Here you go. My lip plumper. So it could go. Plumping my lips a little bit. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are not done. We're going to finish. We need to add more. We need to add definition. We need to add a little bit of blush. We need to add a little bit of highlight. So we're not done with the look yet. So what I'm going to be using today is the face palette. This is a three-in-one face palette. I love this face pa pa palette. That, 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 that because it's so versatile actually all our palettes are versatile and I love versatility because with this palette you can highlight you can use it as eyeshadow actually with all colors you can use it as an eyeshadow I've used this as eyeshadow it looks amazing this color as eyeshadow looks amazing with the highlighter I've used this as a natural like to go to work just throw this on and that and that's it call it a day you use this as a actually the a bronzer highlighter blush so you can use this for so many different things i love this palette so we're going to be using the bronzer this color right here and we are going to bronze contour whichever way you want to call it so i'm going to be applying it right here right underneath your cheekbone there's like a little indentation if you feel there's like a little indentation right under your cheekbone that's where you're applying it okay so what i do is i just grab a little bit of product i'm using a little angle brush i use a thin one because i like to start off lightly um and then just build so basically what i do is i just Stipple it on and go up. See? And usually what I do is I stay at the, at the end of my eye. Okay? And then I go blending it out. You want to blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it. You don't want to leave it there. You don't want it to show as a line and you gotta trust the process ladies just tr just trust the process trust it trust it I should have tied up my hair today honestly okay don't be afraid to buff it out I lightened up the light a little bit because I felt like the light was too, too bright. But hopefully, I don't know, this lighting will work. We're going back and we're going to grab a little bit more. And we're going to just right here in that invitation, we're going to dab it on. We're going to go up. Okay. You just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until I know that the product is off. And then I go and I start blending it downward. You don't want to blend it, you don't want to blend it up. You don't want to bring the product up. You want to bring the product down. Okay, I'm starting to give myself definition. See how 
it's coming together just a process lady just trust it now look okay now we're gonna go grab some more of that bronzer and we're gonna go to our forehead and we're gonna stipple it on and what this does is it closes the forehead and then when you go um, applying it, when you go in circular motions, go towards your hairline, okay? You go back. You don't go forward. You go back. Towards your hairline. I'm so fidgeting with my hair. See how it closes it up? Totally closes it up. Look at that. Blend, blend, blend until you feel confident enough that it's blended out. Okay, now we're gonna, with the same brush, I'm gonna grab a little bit of the bronzer and I'm gonna apply it from my eyebrow. I'm gonna apply it going down. Okay. And I don't go all the way down. I go halfway. It depends on the kind of look that you're trying to create on your nose. I like to break it up. And then you just blend it out. Let's grab my finger. If you put a little bit too much product on, that is not a problem. You can go back with your bud where you, where you came and you, you blend it and just go back. And it'll take some of that off. That's not a biggie. You can never really do any mistakes when it comes to makeup. Okay? Easy peasy. Then what I do is um, I just grab a little bit under the lip Just to give myself, give myself, give myself, give myself, give myself a shadow. Just to give it kind of like a puffy look, a pouty, if you will. Okay. Now, um, there's different ways. If you really want to highlight. You can put concealer. You see some girls that put concealer just to highlight more, but you really don't have to with the highlighter itself. It's enough. I don't like putting a lot of product on my face, so I don't go back with really concealer and put and, you know, I do videos to show um, girls how to do it. Me, personally, I don't. Um, I just go ahead with the highlighter and I just apply it because the highlighter itself is just going to illuminate um, right where I don't have anything. So what I do is I take, this is what you call the highlighter brush. So I grab the highlighter. Here. And I apply it. Right here. Right above where I where I put the um, the bronzer, that's where I'm highlighting. And on the other side, I have hair that's you stubborn little thing. It's stuck actually. There you go. Sorry. Right here. Pretty. A little 
look at how pretty. I usually add it right in the center. I like to highlight there. You can highlight here on your sides if you want to. I like to highlight in the center um, just because it opens up. Um, I don't know. I just, it just, it's like the sun is hitting you. I love that look. You, I go down the nose, but halfway I don't go down all the way. And then I go down to the tip of my nose. Look at that highlight. Look at that highlight. Can, can we just take a moment and just look at that highlight? Put a little bit on your chin. And that kind of opens you up. You can also put on your cupid bow. Um, that's not a favorite place for me to put it on. Um, but you can also, this is your cupid bow right here. And you can just, and the highlights. But that's not my favorite. But can we take a moment? Just a moment what is that like that? there is no reason for me to go and put concealer on none there really isn't because this highlighter itself is just oh God, it's amazing it's amazing it's amazing And that was just using this palette. Now, um, for the blush, I am going to be using a big brush. This is actually like a powder brush. Um, let me just go and just blend this out just a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna take a powder brush. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this. You have to be very careful because this is very pigmented. So you wanna do very little, just like, like that. And then you put it on the apple of your, your cheek. Very little. You wanna give yourself kind of like a flushed, like, like you're embarrassed, like you're, you're flushed, like, ooh. Again, you just, set and then the apple to give yourself a flushed look and then that's it and blend it you can go back with like a big brush and then just blend it all out and look at that isn't that amazing not done with the look we'll be back stay tuned tomorrow and don't forget to distribute the knowledge because it helps me thank you Bye.